Hello Geeks and Toy Fans, this is Hunter Knight, and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new SH Figuarts Justice League Superman by Bandai. This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Shop a great selection of action figures and more at BigBadToyStore.com Thanks for tuning in. Finally, we have Superman from SH Figure Arts. I gotta say the likeness on this figure is the most accurate one out of all the imports and domestic ones that I've seen. This one does capture the likeness of Henry Cavill, albeit not too close. But I mean, this is as close as we're gonna get with the digital printing technology. Compare that to this. Yeah, let's address the elephant in the room, the huge neck. My lord, what happened here? Look at this. It's just too... Okay, you can kind of disguise it if you go like this. But you should be able to display your Superman figure without any, you know, visual tricks. It's it's uh, It has a pretty decent range of articulation, I gotta say. Very, very good. As you can see, it's a double joint here, which is articulation on the base of the neck and the head. But it has a reason why this is uh, done like this. It's so you can pose Soupy like this in a flying pose and still be looking at the camera so yeah it kind of disguises it like that but again it's a bit of a failure as for the overall look of the costume you can see the beautiful details that the figure has with the micro etching here all the textures of the suit has in the movie are replicated here however the superman suit in justice league had metal plates underneath which highlighted the muscles of henry cavill and made the, the look have uh, an underneath type of sheen that is not replicated on the figure and it's I mean it's very hard to do that kind of thing without uh, you know indi painting individually every muscle aside for that little nitpick the suit is pretty accurate you can see the beautiful S symbol oh wait it's not an S but yeah it's it's there it's there it's beautifully done no blemishes on the paint the cape is permanently attached to the figure via this uh, insert inside and it's made of a nice um, material of fabric you can say it has a wire on the bottom yeah the cape as you can see is super huge it just goes way beyond his way I mean he could trip on this and somebody can just step on the thing and he could fall over the uh, the wire here is a, is a nice addition however I, I suppose it should have been it, it doesn't have any wiring here, it's just on the bottom, so it's kind of funny to pose and um, yeah, it doesn't really fulfill too much its purpose, but um, it, yeah, it, it's a, at least it's much better than the Mafex one. It's not so translucent, as you can see, the Mafex one you can see through, but don't expect to, you know, have him pose like this and still hold the pose. Compare that cape with the horrendous Mattel one and then you can see why I prefer the SH figures or any import over this thing. The shoulder articulation features a butterfly joint as you can see with a nice degree of rotation and movement. It can rotate 360. It has uh, sliding um, mechanisms here that allow him to extend his arms to achieve different kinds of poses and of course to close his arms. The butterfly joints also feature the etching so there is continuity with the sculpt all throughout his arm he has a double jointed elbow with a pretty decent range of closure there. His arm features this beautiful blue metallic designs here, which are painted flawlessly. And of course, he has articulation on the wrist via this little peg here, or ball joint, or whatever you want to call it. Furthermore, you can see he has a nice diaphragm articulation which allows him to rotate freely in different angles, along with a nice waist ball joint too. Now the crotch is uh, made of, is the only part of the figure that's made of soft plastic because this is a friction zone, you know, so it needs to be, to have some flexibility to allow the, the, the movement. You can see the super butt there. And like the Mafex one, which I, I like the way it flows. Uh, the sculpture just like, you know, flows through it. This one looks like a bit of an armor, but it has sliding capabilities so he can have a better range of possibility with a um, with a cut here that allows the leg to twist in a limited fashion also you have double jointed knees 
Further below, you can see the boots have been done in a glossy finish. Yeah, look at that. It's a red glossy finish with metallic trimmings on top. And they have ankle swivel with a toe joint. So that's it for Superman. In the accessories department, Kal-El comes with two extra pairs of hands. Uh, as you can see, this is one, the grabby pair. And these are the more relaxed open palm pairs. Kale also features this possessed looking head. I like to call it possessed. I mean, he is using his heat vision. I mean, you can see all the paint applications are also done digitally. And it looks like, you know, you can see the reflection of the red eyes, you know, shining through and, and all that. It just looks demonic. I gotta say, demonic. But uh, I don't see myself using this. But <laughs> it's a nice addition, I suppose. It looks, you know, since this chin is extended a bit more, it's you can kind of hide the giraffe neck a little bit easy on this. Although I don't see why would anybody would be displaying there's SH figure art Superman with his head. Finally, for comparison, there you have him against the horrendous Chino Gabriel Mattel from Justice League, a completely hideous figure, and the Batman vs. Superman. Superman, which uh, it was a bit more decent. And finally, there is Superman with his SH figures counterparts, and I gotta say, he fits nicely there. The packaging is your standard SH figures box. However, since this is a web exclusive, it's a bit wider than your regular release. In the front, you can see the name Superman, as if you could forget. Here it says um, Justice League, Superman Justice League. Here it says that it's a web, Tamashi web exclusive. On the right side, you can see a nice picture of Superman matching the ones from other SHVU Arts releases. And yeah, I'm missing Batman, but yeah. On the left side, you can see the Superman name with the Justice League thing in Japanese, the Superman logo on top. And on the back, you can see more product shots. In this part, it says that it was recreated with digital coloring technology. Here it boasts that it can be posed in several different poses with a wide range of motion and possibilities. And here it says that the picture is a picture that Color and decorations may vary, basically. And finally here, all the legal warnings in Japanese, which are translated in the Bluefin label. While not perfect, this is my favorite Superman figure of the ones that have been released based on the Justice League movie. He has flawless paint job applications all over the suit. I have not found any, you know, blemish that I could point out. Of course, as an SH figure arts, he has an amazing range of articulation and poses that you can get and achieve that you could never be able to achieve with the cheap Mattel ones. The skin tone is right unlike the Mafex one, which you know the Mafex one is okay but the, the color is like way too white. Also it's much more affordable, this figure is uh, retailing for 60 bucks versus the $80 price tag that the Mafex will cost you. One of the cons of the figure will be the wire cape, it should have been a full wire cape. The long neck, the giraffe neck, Jesus, that that's that's really bad. And the fact that it doesn't come with many accessories, unlike the Mayfix one, who has like much more. So I guess that's it for this review. Superman is a Tamashi web exclusive, but guess what? You don't have to worry about importing the thing because you can go to Big Bad Toy Store. They have a convenient pre-order system where you can pre-order anything you want and you are charged only when the item is in stock. And you know, in case something happens, you can always cancel with one click. They have also the pilot loot feature where you buy all the things you want and then you can ship them for a mere four dollars. It's a very convenient feature. I myself am addicted to this method and I use it all the time. For the Geek Entertainment Network, this is Hunter Knight and as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>